Now, that story has captured the attention of really the entire nation, but also of local first responders. Matt Markham met with some of them today to find out what security measures are in place to protect them so they can protect you. There have been some pretty big fires in Lieutenant Jamie Hogan's time on the Cohoes Fire Department. Fire shooting back at him? Never a thought. Our number one priority is seeing safety and safety for our guys when we roll into a fire. Because any threat to responders prevents an effective attack on the fire. Take the Shelter Enterprises fire here in September. A huge scene where fire crews had to determine if there's uh, occupants in the building and if there needs to be rescue efforts versus uh, just the actual firefighting. And while a crowd may gather to watch the flames, the firemen have their eyes out too. It's a family, so we're definitely looking out for each other. It's up to the police to secure a fire scene. Here in Troy, officers respond to every fire call. That's about five to ten times a week police officers are working with fire and EMS. Going to a fire, it's really not about pulling up and staying safe. It's about keeping other people safe. Now we have that secondary thought, which is, am I, am I in harm's way simply by doing my job? The main priority of police officers is usually to direct traffic and keep onlookers back to a safe distance. In the end, I think first responders will respond the way they've always been trained to do. They're people who've decided at some point in their lives to put themselves in harm's way. It's part of the job and it's part of our lives. They don't fear a human threat, but responders have begun to discuss their own protection. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.